dog in the Smitty's in Canada. Uh -huh. Welcome to another Garage Built Rigs. Today we've got Ben. Ben and his FJ40. Full uh, noise. 1976. A little bit of a bitsa. Lots of uh, patrol in there. Lots of um, Holden Commodore. Commodore engine. Commodore gearbox. Uh, patrol diffs. Front and rear. GU. Uh, GQ. GQ. And uh, GQ power steering. Right. Definitely a bit of, bit of gear, it's a wild bit of gear. A little bit, goes all right. It's, um, so it's a six liter L77, so six, six speed auto gearbox. It's got power steering fluid all over it. We just did, uh, just did the drags and uh, the old lid came off, so she got a bit splattered. But, um, it's actually real tidy under here, eh? Yeah, it's nice. So, um, coils were done by Brent Davies, good mate of mine. He um, converted it to coil springs. Um, coil overs. Yeah, coil overs, that's the one. Um, he did the power steering as well, and he did the bar work, the front and rear bars, and the side. No. Those 17s, 16s. 16s, yep. 16s for 35s, and uh, 13 inch. With rubbing against the springs today. <laughs> Open air, crew pit. Yeah, chilly, chilly out here, that's for sure. Yeah. Twin, twin tip rear. Sorry. Is it full twin through all the way through, or? Yep, yep, just two and a half. It used to be, um, used to be a bit louder, but it was uh, screaming on the highway, so I've tried to quieten down a bit. But yeah, it's still two and a half inch dual exhaust, yeah. And a full inside full cage. Six point cage, yeah. Which you built yourself? Built myself, yeah. Had a go. It's and, only uh, one way to find out, hey? Yeah. Haven't rolled it yet, so it's okay at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> and it's fiberglass, isn't it? Whole car, it's yep, fiberglass? Yeah, so fiberglass tub. Yep, the whole front end's fiberglass. It's, um, it's been modified as well. Like it's so it's had um, it's got nine inches of stretch in it. So five inches in the front, four in the back. Um, used to I think this used to come to here and right. up, but we filled that in with more glass. And it's nice and light. Yeah, nice and light. I think it's it's about eighteen hundred kilos. So it's, it's pretty light. Yeah. Quite a nice piece of gear, and obviously, as you've seen, it's a one-piece front end, so the whole front end folds up. Yep, and these are, these are been widened as well. It's, it's had a repair through here because it um, the whole clip come up on me on the highway on the on-ramp once. Kind of crunched it a bit. When I was doing it, 110. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speed limits around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got some nice angles and all the bar work. Yeah, that's all Brent Davies. That's all his work. He's a, he's a bit of a wizard on the um, on the steer and the welder. Nice bit of fab work. Yep, yep. And he's um, done suspension as well. So he done my cross member. And then what else did he do? Yeah, he just got it. He got it working well. Yeah. So is it stretched in the arms, or is it actually the whole body that's stretched as well? Yeah, both. So both. Uh, well, the back was the back was stretched. And there's um, this extended long arms in the yeah, front. Yeah, so when he's when he's mounted up the the front, he's um obviously just I mean that's all patrol gear just off the GQ. And he's just yeah he's just mounted it all forward, so so it just works. Brought it in front of a chassis mount or body mount instead of behind it. Yep. Give it a little yep. bit more clearance. Yep. See, so don't foul as quick when you're tucking. <sighs> yep, it's going alright so far. Today's the the day that it's it's getting tested. That's for sure. It's been sitting in the garage for many years. Brought it to break it? Yeah, it's got a trailer's here. <laughs> Question is though, are you going to do beer o'clock? Uh, not today. Not today? <laughs> Love it still too much? Yeah, no, I don't want to go over over backwards in it, so... Yeah. Yeah, I'll give it a miss. I'll just out on that one, I think. Obviously, we're at the springs being beer o'clock on the hill in the background. Uh, 
definitely a very, very nice car. Oh, it's yeah. got a um, two-inch chop in the windscreen as well, so that's oh. why it looks a little bit, a little bit cheapish in a way. Yeah, well, I did actually think it was a cheap when it came in when yesterday. Up, yeah. 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 yeah, definitely looks different. It's not your, uh, not your average FJ40. I don't think any of the ones here are average. They're all extreme in their own little way. Okay. What size coilovers you're running? Ah, uh, so 10 inch. 10 it's inch usually Fox. Got, it's usually got triple bypasses on it as well, but I'm going to take them off for coming out of here. Don't really need them. There's a lot of access down here for everything, eh? It's what you want. Yep, just not much room. Between for exhaust, that's for sure. <laughs> bit tight, bit tight yeah. in the rails. Very tight, yeah. Right. And then not much inside it. Just uh. No, uh, so just it's um, it's got the Rhino lining inside, so you can just wash it out. And obviously wrap the lining on the outside. Gave uh, it a good little test. Yes, fell off the uh, high lift jack Oops. a couple of days ago. Changing uh, over tires. I was trying to do some welding underneath, so I just wanted some more room, so I lifted it up a bit. Um, yeah, she slipped off. But didn't hit me in the head, so I'm okay. Yeah. So, and there is Commodore seats. Yep, just out of a VE. The same, uh, the same Commodore that the motor and box came from back in 2012. Okay. So, did you just buy a donor or you just bought? Yeah, so I bought a stat right off, um, had 10,700Ks on it. So it was a it was a nice fresh one. That's not bad. Yeah, it was um, yeah, it was a good one. So that came up from Victoria. Um, before that, originally had a um, 307 Windsor in it, and and then I put an LS1 in it with a turbo 400, and then this L77 with a 6L80, and then I went to an LS3 for a little while. Yep. A cammed one, and then now it's gone back to the original L77. True. And it goes good. We took a ride in it before, which we'll throw in here. Yeah, it's definitely it's actually quite a nice fab job you've done with the cage. Thank you. It tucks in nice and tight and definitely looks like it's got plenty of support. Hopefully it works. Yeah. Hopefully the world's hold together. Hopefully you never find out. <laughs> so, and she's got bar doors. Okay. Oh, it's got some odd plates on it, but yeah, it's just a um, toy. It's just a toy to bring out here and on the property and stuff, have a bit of fun in. Doesn't really go on the road much. I, I do drop my kids, Layla and Jacob, off at kindy and school every now and then, but yep. most of the time it's just sitting in the shed. Do they love that? Yeah, yeah, especially um, especially Jacob, he loves it. Uh, kids growing up to be a gearhead? I think so, I hope so. Take me in the green car, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So. It's definitely one of the more unique vehicles out here for this weekend and that's why we thought we'd do a little bit of a video on it because it's not often you see something that, something that someone's actually felt like building and made the way they like it so almost huh made well made well and it's very tasteful like looks good from all angles so what chassis is under it? So it's an FJ40, it's the original chassis. Um, it's just been modified, so. Made everything fit the chassis? Yeah, it all fits, just. It's, um, it's tight though. Exhaust is close to the chassis. Close to the fuel tank. Close to the fuel tank, <laughs> close to the chassis, close to the exhaust. But it, it seems to work, it's not really knocking. Nothing's getting burned, so it seems to work okay. That's what you want. A little bit of tire rub in there we found earlier. Yeah. Right. What is the actual colour of the car? 
Okay, so it's a um, it's a it's a Commodore color as well. I, I can't remember the name, but it is their um, like their VEVS, the green one that's got. It's kind of a grey green. Ah, oh, true. Yeah. Like so it's not very common. Like it's common on other cars, but not on this type of car. Yeah, yeah. Like, so yeah, I just got the guy to tint the Raptor liner in it, and um, yeah, just had a crack at spraying it. It's pretty easy. Do you paint it yourself as well? Yeah, I paint it myself. Oh, Raptor's the... pretty user friendly, isn't it? It is. I can see the lines in it, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you, you'll always find lines in your own car. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, it's yeah. definitely, definitely a wild bit of gear. Okay. Looks, looks almost OEM, but heavily modified. Yeah. And extinguisher, just in case stuff goes wrong. I did a bit of the wiring stuff. There's two in there, isn't there? Yeah. Is that up front? There's one for me. Under the, one for yeah, someone, one under the else. <laughs> one for someone to grab quickly. Well, it's good to have That's one the off one. the side of the car. Yeah, yeah. Beauty. Oh, was it COVID build? No, no. So I um I've had it for about 18 years. Oh. Um, so I put the LS1 in it originally. That was probably 05, 06. Oh wow. Turbo 400. And then when I met Brent, that's when we put the L77 in. That was probably 2012. Yeah. It's never stopped changing really. Just keep working on it. Change something. Why well, change cars when you just change the vehicle itself? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the amount of time you put in into them as well. It's yeah, you of... never get back. No, you never get your time no. back out of well, them. I did it to learn off it anyway, so it's all good. It's quite a quite a nice built car. It looks very very good. So, but that's Ben's FJ40. F FJ40. <laughs> Hey. Bitsa. <laughs> looks nice. It looks very nice. Uh, yeah. Thanks for joining us on Garage Built Rigs. Yeah, cool. Thank you. <laughs> Catch you in the next one. <laughs>